Hi, this is Di, and today I'm unboxing new in-ear monitors. I just got these. My son works at a music store, and these are the ones that he recommended that were a great deal. And I wanted to get my own in-ear monitors. These are Mackie Professional In-Ear Monitors with Dual Hybrid Driver. It's the MP240. I was going to let you know what an in-ear monitor is. Um, they look like headphones and they're what musicians wear on stage if they are not necessarily playing with a wedge. A wedge is a speaker on stage where they can hear what the musicians are playing. The only problem is that it's very hard to balance the drums which have their own ambient noise. So that is why uh, folks who play on stage sometimes prefer to have in-ear monitors. Those are connected uh, either to a pack or to like an Allen Heath little monitor and when they play with in-ear monitors then they can adjust the settings and all the sound just for their own preferences and it doesn't throw off the preferences of the rest of the group. In our situation you can adjust them to the way you need them. Another advantage to in-ear monitors is that they block sound. So this part of it having it way down in your ear actually blocks sound out and since I have chronic headaches, it's nice for me to wear ear monitors because then instead of the noise level just being set by the drums on the stage, the noise level then can be set by me personally and I can turn it down and don't hear the drums so loudly in my ears unless that's how I want them. So being a bass player, I usually do want them that way. Anyway, I have not seen these yet. My son ordered them for me. They're sight unseen. So this is going to be fun for us. He's like, oh, you should unbox them. So we're going to unbox them. I don't know anything about them. I just gave him the money and told him to get me the best thing on the market. And so this is what he got me. Obviously, they have their website here, www.mackie.com. So you can go there and check out their other products. And so this is a pair of MP240 dual hybrid driver professional in-ear monitors. It has three, pair, three pairs of silicone tips, small, medium, and large. Three pairs of foam tips, small, medium, and large. Pairs of dual flange tips, small, medium, and large. A one-eighth to a one-quarter adapter, a user manual, tips tips, fitting and maintenance guide, and a hand-carrying case travel clip. The reason that I wanted my own in-ear monitors is because when I get home and I'm trying to hear the bass line, a lot of the music that we use is on Planning Center and so it's compressed and sometimes I can't even hear the bass playing at my cheap earbuds and so I'll go over to headphones and even then sometimes it's hard for me to hear what that bass player is playing and I, of course I want to steal all of his good ideas so that's why I wanted my own in-ear monitors so that at home I can hear when I'm practicing so that at rehearsal I have my own and I don't have to deal with a pack of you know and borrowing them from the church and returning them to the church I accidentally wore mine home on Easter and the other reason of course is because I want to listen to music on them and it's going to sound really good just when I want to listen to music. So I'm excited. All right, let's unbox these. Look at this little flap. It says zero fuss detachable MMCX connector swivels for easy wearing. Impedance 16 ohms, frequency range 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, cable length 59 inches or 150 centimeters. This packaging, come on, they did not scrimp. This is great packaging. It says it has an ergonomic fit. The molded low profile enclosure offers maximum comfort, noise, isolation, and bass response. Twisted and tough. Audio file grade cable is internally braided. Oh, and features an outer shielding for enhanced durability. Better together, the hybrid dual driver design delivers incredible clarity and dynamic driver for low frequencies and a balanced Armature drive for mid and highs. Precision two-way crossover ensures optimal clarity and headroom. Party in the front, business in the back. Wear it in the front or behind the back for maximum comfort on stage. Look at that. <laughs> That's funny. And then it has tips, tips, tips. Silicone foam and dual flange ear tips. It comes with all those tips. And then take them with you and includes a hard mobile case with travel clip to protect your investment. So there's that. And then we get to the real thing. Here's how the real deal looks. There it is in the plastic. Let's get it out of the plastic so we can see it. Na, 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 back knife. All right, let's open it up. Doo -doo -doo. 
Do do do. I'm gonna take the little case out, which is adorbs, and it's got a grommet on it. No, it's got one of these on it. I love those carabiner. It's got a carabiner on it. Cool. And now the actual. Oh, look at that. So this foam comes out. So I'm taking this foam out. And there's the motors. Oh, it's got the silica gel. These are handy. Keep these around. Put them inside your guitars and any cases that you have so that uh, stuff doesn't get moisture in it. I live in the Pacific Northwest. We have moisture. I know everyone's favorite word is moist, right? So my voice. You're probably wondering what's up with that. This is my post-VidCon flu voice. I ran a fever 100.7. Thanks, VidCon. All right. So here we go. Here are the monitors. Got a twist tie, of course. All right. Now I'm used to using a different brand. And right is red. But let's see how these are labeled. These are labeled right and left. Novel. So you can be an old person like me who has difficulty seeing and still find out, find these monitors. Okay, so. Oh, that doesn't adjust. That's too bad. I like to have that tight. Maybe this part does? It does. There it is. So this is an adjustment. So, so I put the monitors in my ears and then I adjust this in the back so that it's tight. And that also helps keep the monitors in my ears by having the cord nice and tight around my ear. So this is how I play it on stage. With the party in the back. I don't really want them to be visible while I'm playing. Oh, now I can run them under my clothes before I even leave. That's kind of cool. So let me show you. It goes right in. Do you see how it goes into your ear? Just like this, and it goes down into your ear canal. Probably don't have the right size foamies on it, but that's okay. Look at that. Do you see how that goes? Now you've got this cord. Now I go do the left ear. This is my left ear, right? And it goes here. <laughs> Almost got it. Let's try again. You see how that goes? Okay. So now I'll take that little cord back here. I'll take that little thing and I'll tighten it. And when I tighten it, that brings this piece of cord tight here and tight over here. Oh, they're blocking out so much sound. I wonder if I'm yelling at you. Kidding. All right. So now I get the cord end. I'm gonna put it in my computer and let you know how it sounds. Wow, oh my gosh. You don't know what you're missing when you're missing it. It sounds so good. It's really clear. Holy cow. Um, I can definitely hear the bass player on this song. He's playing on a, um, he's playing with a pick on 16th. I always like to open my mouth and shut it so I know they're going to stay in. The mid ranges are amazing. I can really hear the synth part. Holy moly. There's nothing in a headset or a, a pair of earbuds that's like this. Nothing compares. This is amazing. The drums are crisp. Oh my gosh, it went back and forth between left and right ear. I can hear every pick stroke on this drummer. I mean, the <laughs> bass player, I can hear every pick stroke. 
You couldn't really hear the pans left and right. Dang. This song's really well engineered. <laughs> Dang. Okay. Wow. <clears throat> I didn't know I was gonna cry. <laughs> you just don't know how much sound you're missing when you can't hear it. Holy cow. All right, let's look at the rest of the stuff that came in the box. I can get my stuff to back together again. All right, so here's that adapter so I can plug it into any sort of thing output that I wanna hear. Here are all the tips, tips, tips. It said it came with a lot of tips. Oh, I'm excited to try these. The ones that were on it went right into my ear, but it's really a good thing to perfect. I, Because I'm playing worship music on stage, I smile a lot. Like they tell us to make sure we smile because you know, if you're worshiping God and you're sad looking, it's kind of off-putting to people. You want people to want to stay. So they you know, coach us to smile, which is not a bad thing. One of the guys on the team though, every time he smiles, he just does this. <laughs> it's so much more frightening. Anyway, but when I smile, sometimes my ear will, my inner monitor will pop right out of my ear. So many tips. So it came with all these tips. And so I'm going to play with those and find out which ones I want. What's inside? Hip tips about your tips. Uh, it's talking about getting an airtight seal in your ear canal, which absolutely makes all the difference. You can hear 10 times more when you've got that seal. So it's a lot different from wearing earbuds. So if you're gonna get these just for recreational use, do know that you're gonna have to get a nice seal, in an airtight seal. Let's see. And then it comes with a manual, which anymore, everything's online and nobody gives you a manual. I like when they throw one in because sometimes I need to fix something in the moment and I don't have time to look up the manual. So it comes with the manual, which is great. And that all fits into this box. So let me take off the earbuds and just show you them going back into the box. Now the main thing is to not drop them on the floor, which I tend to do, or I forget that they're plugged into a monitor and I walk away from it. Not good. So this thing, this is very nice because now you can put them together, right? Handy. And coil it up. And then it goes in this little box. And then I put this. And this is oh, class. There we go. And here it is. Here it is, all ready to go. So I can just hook this to my gig bag with my pedals in it, and I will have my in-ear monitors to play with on stage tomorrow, because I'm playing on worship team tomorrow. So, the Mackie logo is super cute, don't you think? All right, so this is my review of these monitors so far. My first trial is that they make me cry. They sound so good. So I think that's a pretty good review, right? So um, I guess we'll leave it here. I will give you a follow-up later when I've played with them on stage and let you know how that went. So thank you so much for watching. I produce more bass videos and gear videos. I try to have those out every Saturday and I do a vlog every Tuesday so you know about my life. I am Di, the bass playing mom. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you soon. God bless.